What is going on? <laughs> Prosperity Practitioners, Brandon Hanley here, the creator of the Prosperity Practice. When we are practicing our prosperity, we're working towards a progressive ideal. If that sounds familiar, that is a line from Earl Nightingale. Uh, we, we are always working forward. We are working towards our progressive ideal. We have an ideal image in our mind of what prosperity looks like for us. However, we need to practice in order to get ourselves there. If we're not practicing in order to get ourselves there, then how does that ever occur, right? So our prosperity mindset, our prosperity practice only comes about by continuously practicing and practice makes as Kane Ramsey says at least I'm sure there's plenty of other people who say it but practice makes permanent the more you practice it the more you ingrain it the more it becomes part of your lifestyle then your lifestyle uh, is, is there so guys here we are today we are on day number 19 of your prosperity practice and we have a check for $26 million. Most of us never, I know, look, look, I'm not going to lie. I never thought that I would see a check for $26 million. Yet here it is $26 million to use on whatever my heart desires and also for whatever your heart desires. Guys, you need to know that I'm doing this with you. I just did my $26 million a couple days ago now. And what did I purchase? I'm, I'm, I got to pull it up. I don't really recall. Um, you know, and, and I've had conversations with some people, literal one on one conversations with people that are going through this at the same time. And that's, I'll tell you, that's really, I, I'm trying to think of, you know, people say, why are you doing this? What is in it for you? And a part of it is just the engagement. Part of it is just doing it with others. Part of it is the, the community, the sense of, of creating something and and for me that's that's been a huge part of this it's it's just been to create it to find that you actually um you've got something in your mind that that you're seeing being fleshed out uh somebody asked me how i did it and you know, i gave them the details about just kind of how, how it came came about huh. Right, here we go. So what I spent my $26 million on was I, I bought a private jet uh, for, it was a Dassault Falcon 7X. It was about $2.4 million. Uh, I found that on, on, you know, just Google, buy a private jet. Uh, and then I also bought a, an, a beach in New Zealand for $2.6 million. It was actually pretty easy to spend. $26 million. Um, actually, I think I went a little over, and that's okay. I mean, you're just really looking at where you can spend this at. Guys, if it gets difficult, I had another friend. Uh, she gave me some great advice. She goes, just, you know, <laughs> go Google it because uh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself with some of the podcasts, and I have no idea. What would you spend this money on? It's pretty simple. Just say, hey, what would Google, what would I spend $30 million on? Um, some other ones, I'll, and this will be on 20, I'll share 20. Uh, but there, there's some things that you had no idea how expensive they are until, or how inexpensive some of these things are until you go and you look them up. As always, with our prosperity practice emails, we get some words of encouragement down at the bottom of every email. And today's words of encouragement are going to be, let's see here. Let me see. We've got one from Neville Goddard. And it is simply dare to assume you are what you want to be and you will compel everyone to play their part. This is another practice life as if. This is another practice right now as if you were receiving $26 million dollars. And you're running around telling people that you're spending $26 million. Their first inclination is to to wonder how you got this money. I know that sometimes I share these with Meg. I'm like, oh, today I'm buying this, that, and the other thing today. She said, what do you need? What do you, and she gets concerned because she feels like I'm really spending the money. But it's imagination. But as soon as the words come out of your mouth, as soon as you share what it is you're doing, it's real to somebody who doesn't know that this is part of your imagination. So again, if you're uh, if you're assuming 
the part that you want to play, everybody else is going to kind of line up with how you want to play it. Uh, this has happened more often than not, as I did the uh, you know some of my other podcasts where the, I said, hey, here's what I'm doing, and, and this is what I'm doing. People lined up to assist or, and when I say lined up, not like got ready and I had a line of people helping me, but there was alignment in the theoretical universe that made these things possible. So simply dare to assume you are what you want to be and you will compel everyone to play their part. And this next one, that's from Neville Goddard. Uh, this next one is all channel. I love, I'm telling you, guys, I'm telling you. Florence Scovel Shan has become like just one of my favorites uh, over the past uh, couple of, couple months. Uh, I'm ranking her. She's she's getting really close to being ranked up there with Wallace D. Waddles. If you don't know me uh, already, then you'll know you'll find that Wallace D. Waddles played a huge part in in everything that I'm presenting here and getting to this part by reading the science of getting rich and it's just a huge impact. But uh, Florence Scovel Shin just has a lot of really great affirmations and here's another one from her all channels are free and all doors fly open for my immediate and endless divinely designed supply divinely designed or capitalized in this uh, in this affirmation so you know if if you you know, believe in God, if you believe in the universe, if you believe in a grand divine design, then how can it be that you know, how how could it be otherwise, right? All channels are free and all doors fly open for my immediate and endless divinely designed supply. How could it be otherwise? How could it be otherwise if if that's the case, right? So it really is all perspective. But if you if you look at your life and you say that it has been divinely designed, then everything must open up to you and for you. Hope that that has been helpful for you on day number 19. Love to hear what you're spending your money on. I will check in with you on the next one and let you know what some of our more recent inclusions purchases have been uh they, they're going to range but that's another big part of just what's so exciting here is that there's an opportunity to share what it is that you've been spending these on take care